Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film another swatch party video and this time it's going to be on the ColourPop Holiday Palette. This is the Chasing Rainbows Palette and honestly guys, I feel like I've gotten so far away from my swatch party roots and I've been doing more get ready with me's and like testing out new makeup but I thought, you know guys, there might be still a few people that like my swatch parties because yeah, they're pretty casual and they're not like beautiful stencils and I don't like swatch on primer with like a MAC 224 or whatever the heck they do, but I still think they're fun. I do have like a medium complexion, so I figure you guys may still want to see swatch party videos even though this palette isn't really brand new. I thought I would show it to you guys anyway. So this is the, like I said, Chasing Rainbows. I wasn't planning on buying this, but I haven't bought anything from ColourPop in a while. And I was feeling the itch. And now that I have it, and it's actually the palette I tried to wear on my eyes today, I don't love it. Like, I wish I hadn't bought it, but that's okay. I figure, you know what, let's get a swatch party video out so you guys can see these shades on my skin tone. So the first shade is Wiggles. Then we have Blurred Lines, So Meta is the Yellow Gold, and then we have Feeling It and Realness is this beautiful shade right here. But honestly, these shades I've seen so many times in ColourPop, and I literally thought this palette reminded me of the Unicorn palette, or the My Little Pony palette, I should say. But I bought it anyway, because I'm an idiot. So this is the more pink row. So let me go ahead and swatch it. I swear, it's like, when you see it, when you see the swatches, you're like, yeah, I already have this palette. <laughs> and I had totally bought the Becky G palette today as well because I just thought it would work so well with my skin tone. So the next row we have Woke, Wishlist, Manifested, which swatch really beautifully. It's a matte shade with big pink flecks. And then Keep Cool and Not Playing is a beautiful like purple topper shade kind of. Super pretty. And then the last row, this first shade called Lucid, reminds me a lot of their shade. It's called Glass Bowl or Glass Bowl or something. Super pretty. The shade Bring It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Super duper gorgeous. Okay. Wow. It's hard to hate on ColourPop, guys. So there is, it really does look like a rainbow though, doesn't it? Super duper cute. So those are all the shades. I hope you guys can just pause and take a look. Sometimes people say I get through swatches really quick, but I'm assuming you would pause <laughs> to watch. And yeah, these this color palette is actually gorgeous. I need to spend more time like playing with it. I feel like each row is like its own like set of looks, so. I shouldn't judge it so harshly right away, but I've worn this palette twice and I'm like, oh, these shades are not that interesting. But now that I'm seeing them swatch, I feel a little bit more excited about it. And yeah, I'll swatch the Becky G palette for you guys when I get that as well, because I have a feeling that's gonna work really well with my medium complexion. So yeah, that is everything for our swatch party. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. Definitely give me a thumbs up. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.